Hello, I grew up with Lego City. So there's been Lego City, Castle, Pirates and I think Technic out there. Now we have many other themes but Lego City is still alive, still here. Um, so what is the success of this theme? Why is it still there? I think one of the reasons why Lego City is still so successful is of course that we try to renew the assortment of Lego City every year, so to say. Uh, and we also know that there are so many kids around the world that love playing the realistic type of play. So even though we've seen a lot of other play themes emerge over the years, like Ninjago and Nexo Knights and stuff like that, uh, there's still room for Lego City because there's so many children out there that loves playing that they are police officer catching the, the crooks. Um, at the same time, as I said, we are really working very hard on every year to reinvent what we do in Lego City, making new play offers, even though we come up with a new police station, you know, sort of every third year. Um, we find new ways of escaping from prison, a new way of putting the crooks back to prison. So there's always a new way of playing with the with Lego City. So you both are Lego designers? Uh, yes. So, um, well, I'm a design manager on Lego City and I'm responsible for some of the sub-themes. And then, I guess... Yeah, I'm the design director, meaning that uh, Lego City from a design point of view, it's my responsibility, so I am the one deciding whether we put a race boat or a police station or five minifigures or whatever we put in the box. That is my uh, responsibility also to, to draw the, the big lines of Lake City. So where should we be in three years and what should we be innovating on? I was thinking of when I was a child, long time ago, we had base plates. Mm -hmm. so, um, and now the base plates um, are gone in Lego City. Uh, why is that? Um, you can actually still, they're still available, so you can still buy the base plates in the, in the store, but we uh, learned that uh, once we want to wanna build uh, models that works, <laughs> can fall apart, no, that's actually just goes down here. Once we, if we want to build models that can have other functionalities like opening up and stuff like that, when it's built on a base plate, that can't be done. Um, so there's pros and cons of, of having a base plate and not having a base plate. Uh, we think that the play experience is enhanced by not having the base plates because it opens up for more functionality because everything is not locked down on the slots on the base plate. Uh, so there's a deliberate choice, but we also know that the dream of building a Lego city back home, you need base plates, so therefore they're still available in the stores. You are the team who creates Lego sets as well, or you're just the manager who, who decided, um, like him, what to do? Well, I think it depends on when you look in the phase. In the very beginning, in the concept phase, I think all of us, including Rico and myself, were down there putting together the sets, the concept models, uh, exploring where we want to take this. But then when it comes to the execution side, it is, uh, it's, it's designers that are building the models, and then my role is to guide them in the right direction, make sure it all comes together, that the colors are aligned, that our vision of what it's going to be is translated into all of the models. So you're all playing with Lego. <laughs> okay. As much as we can and every day, yeah. So are you kind of jealous, um, for example, with the new theme, Nexo Knights, with so many new parts? Um, I think this is something special, right? Uh, you have to fight for every new part here in Lego? I would not say we have to fight, but of course we we look at what would we need to, to drive the innovation that we that we want to deliver on and then we suggest that that would take uh, five new elements or, or what we think would be necessary and, and so does uh, next night and then of course we look at what is what is what is possible from a production point of view and then it's being divided based on our recommendations so i never really saw it as a fight but of course you have to argue why do you need to have that new element or that new functionality or whatever but a fight it is not uh, it's a great build, but one thing I was thinking of, I mean, it's, it's, it's clear that we have this open space right here, that kids can play with a police station, but I'm not sure how can this minifigure can get up there? <laughs> um, yeah, he, uh, he has some very long legs. <laughs> you know. um, I think one, when we test with the children around the world, which is something we do extensively, it's not uh, something that lots of the kids have a problem with, that there's not always a ladder because you could, you could say the same thing on the back of the police station. No, no. How, how does the police officer get the, prison, uh, the prisoner up there in the prison? For the children around the world, it's natural. They just put the figure up there and then that's where the play goes because 
there's not that much interesting play in putting a minifigure up a ladder. That's not the, the interesting play. So we learned that details like that would rather you know, spend time on developing other play functionalities in, in, the, in the sets. So this is just an awful concern, I guess. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> totally, yeah. Okay. But that's also fine, you know, that, that's, that's the feedback we would like to get, because next time we have to do a fairy wheel, we'll remember this comment and yeah, then we'll okay. need to look into that. What is your favorite set of this new wave of LEGO City sets? That's a tough one. It's, like it's hard to pinpoint one set exactly, and you know, to us especially, we know the whole story of how it came into being. I think the fairy is a very exciting one to see, um, but there are lots of other ones, like the ambulance plane, for example, is one where I built a concept model initially, so of course that to me has a special story, but overall I think I'm just excited about the whole line and to be able to present it the way it is and the way it all comes together in the end. Another boss. <laughs> Another boss. <laughs> for me it's, it's the prison island police station and it, it is that for one very obvious, or at least in my world, very obvious reason because I think police is, is a evergreen in Lego City, it's something we constantly try to evolve and I actually think we found some new ways of escaping in the prison in the prison island with the guy being able to open up the, the sewer system and then you pull the little lever and the guy escapes through the sewer system. It's, in my world, is something that creates a new play experience for the children around the world. And for me, that's, that's what gets me up in the morning. It's when I know that we created something the kids have never seen before. Um, so for me this year, that is the highlight. But I agree with Martin, you know, we're doing you know, a lot of fantastic models and they all have a special place in, in our hearts. But I think for me, this is the one that, that it was really nice. And my last question is, um, do we have any dream, any set you would like to realize in the future? So we're going to be Volcano this summer, there's been the, the Arctis. Is there anything you would like to do sometime? <laughs> <laughs> um, when, I think when we do new themes, we are always evaluating how it fits with, uh, with the rest of our portfolio. So we, we really, we, we take the ideas from all over and those meld together in the new, into the new concepts. And then on top of that, of course, we go out and we ask the kids, what do they think? You know, and that's really the main point. Is it relevant to them? Do they want to play with this? Does it spark their imagination? So it's when we get to the tests out there and show them our concepts, we show them the boards, we show them the concept models we build, uh, when it sparks their imagination and they can tell us stories, that's when we know we have what we want to build. Right. Yeah, um, I can guarantee you that's, that's some themes I would like to do in the future, but I can also guarantee you I can't talk about it because obviously that will happen. Um, so we're already right now looking at 2018, for example. So there will be some interesting stuff in the, in the pipeline coming out there, but of course we can't share that uh, now. That will be for a later date. Fantastic new train. <laughs> okay. Thank you all so much for your time. Thanks. You're welcome.